Hey guys, it is TechGeekHD here again with another video, and today I have a tutorial on how to jailbreak uh, your iPad, um, uh, iPad 2 uh, on iOS 5.0.1. Uh, now this will work on both iOS 5.2.1, uh, sorry 5.0.1 as well as iOS 5. Uh, now this is the official jailbreak for all A5 devices, uh, including uh, the iPhone 4S but I believe that the iPhone 4S is only supported uh, with iOS 5.0.1 and iOS 5.0 support is not available though I wouldn't really worry about it because um, if you guys are on iOS 5.0 on your iPhone 4S uh, there is really no harm in upgrading to 5.0.1 since the jailbreak is out so the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is plug in your iPad to your Mac or PC now the process is pretty much exactly the same on both um, platforms so here I have plugged in the iPad into my computer um, though I did actually ha have my computer on silent so you probably didn't hear the sound um, but uh, it is really simple so I'm actually just going to take you guys to the computer screen now uh, now I am doing this on a Windows computer but the process is pretty much exactly the same on both platforms uh, Windows as well as Mac uh, Mac OS 10 so here I've opened up my folder in which I do have um, the new uh, jailbreak software called Absinthe. Now if you guys are on a Mac computer then you guys can just go ahead straight up and open the software but if you guys aren't all you have to do is uh, go to, over here to the Absinthe executable file right click on it and hit run as administrator it's really just that easy so we're just gonna wait for the login screen here or the you know like to let it um, approve opening up the software and I'm gonna hit yes um, and if iTunes does open, which it probably will automatically, as you guys can see right there, uh, I really advise that you guys just shut it down because uh, iTunes is not something you want your iPad syncing with uh, before you do this process. I'm actually just going to, uh, yeah, quit and close out of iTunes and bring back Absinthe. So I know you guys can probably not see very clearly, but as soon as you open up Absinthe, it's going to detect your device. Here for me it says I, uh, iPad 2 with iOS 5.0.1 detected. Click the button to begin. So I'm just going to hit jailbreak, and it says connecting to device. And you guys will see a little progress bar. Now, right now, uh, on the iPad, um, there is really nothing going on. But I will let you guys know, you guys will probably be able to see. Here you go. Um, it does say restore in progress now it will say this even on an iPhone 4s um, so uh, on the computer right now um, the progress bar has actually moved up a little bit but not too much uh, so it says waiting for reboot not done yet at this point your device uh, and for me right now it is the iPad 2 will start to reboot now this process may take a, a little while um, because, you know, uh, Absent is a fairly new jailbreak tool and something that's taken quite a while to develop. So I'm actually just going to uh, cut the video here, but don't worry, I'm not going to do any changes. Uh, it's basically just going to continue with the process. There's actually nothing else you have to click, press, touch, or anything. And I will be back in just a second. Okay guys, so my iPad 2 did actually reboot a couple of times and then uh, it did actually show me the iPad or, or the regular Apple restore screen. Now, uh, it did actually just take me to the lock screen but it's gone black again, so I don't recommend touching your device right now. And uh, on the computer uh, here, our progress bar is just under, um, oh, sorry, just over halfway through. So this process shouldn't take too much longer, uh, but uh, over there it does say preparing jailbreak data. So it has actually processed a little bit more. Over here it says sending payload data. This may take a while. And in brackets it does, does say do not touch your device yet. Now this really does depend on how fast your computer is um, to actually send the payload over to your iPad 2. Uh, my computer is fairly fast and, uh, okay, I'm sorry, we've got on to our screensaver but here it says almost done just unlock the screen if necessary and then tap the jailbreak icon to finish it may be on a different home screen so don't give up looking so that means the part on the computer is done so I'm actually just going to minimize absinthe just in case and bring you guys over here to my iPad 2 uh, so let's actually unlock the iPad um, and I am on low battery uh, and you're actually going to look for a program that says Absinthe. And here you go. You guys do see the Absinthe application. So I'm just going to open it up. And now it says Absinthe is now setting things up. Please stand by. And it's actually just going to load up the Absinthe logo. 
so this shouldn't take too long at the moment I do still have I, I opened up absinthe again on my computer but nothing is really happening uh, on the computer okay so now the iPad shut off and it says plug in your iPhone 4s or iPad 2 to begin on absinthe and the jailbreak button is grayed out uh, and the progress bar is empty um, as you guys may or may not be able to see there uh, and the iPad has um, gone back into the spinning wheel so um, this should mean that the process is done now I'm just gonna wait for um, this to load up again it shouldn't take too long uh, now on the computer on absent it actually does say iPad 2 with iOS 5.0.1 detected click the button to begin though you do not want to uh, click it again I just want to let you guys know um, because the process is actually still going on inside your device so uh, here we go, we are at the lock screen once again. I'm just going to put it into landscape mode and slide to unlock. So if I scroll over to the right, now you guys can see the absinthe thing has gone and we do have Cydia. So I'm just going to tap to open up Cydia and you guys will see that it's preparing the file system. Cydia will exit when complete. So that is really, really cool guys. Our um, iPad 2 has been jailbroken. Uh, successfully on iOS 5.0.1 now this is going to uh, reboot your device I believe as soon as it's done uh, but that is pretty much about it guys I really do hope you enjoyed this video if it helps you out which I'm pretty sure it will if you guys have an iPhone 4s or an iPad 2 that you guys have been waiting to jailbreak uh, then I would really appreciate it if you guys could hit the subscribe button above and also leave a like rating on this video uh, so uh, I'd really appreciate that and um, do subscribe for more videos like these uh, tips, tricks, more jailbreaking tutorials, unboxings, reviews, and much more. So again, guys, this is Tech Geek HD, and thank you very much for checking out this video. Peace.